I recently worked out that I have spent just under 2,000 nights living in a van. I have one week left. I bought five acres in the rainforest in northern New South Wales. I plan on spending the next few years really transforming that property into a kind of self-sufficient paradise. I shouldn't be surprised things didn't go according to plan because after six years of van life, things never go according to plan. To say excitement levels are high would be an absolute understatement. Today in this video, you are gonna join me for what could be one of the biggest milestones of my life. So we have made it to sunny New South Wales. We are now in Newcastle. And as you saw in the last video, I stopped off at dad and Judy's for my first lot of tools and everything in the trailer. Then mums, I gathered some more. And finally, now I'm at my sister's rental property and it may confuse you, but dad is back. In the time that my van was broken down for all those days, they've overtaken me, so he is now helping me. And we're essentially playing a bit of Tetris here with the trailer because I actually have, yeah, some more things. Just a few. All of these are mine. And then also this desk is coming and that one and those. But in my defense, these are all filled with tools. You'll be happy to know that the trailer performed really well for the rest of the journey north, and I'm sure that's gonna continue. That's good there. Dad, this is one of the nicest looking pack trailers. We've still got the room for the desk. <laughs> and lift in here. Yeah. This is definitely too narrow. Shit. So close. And the pile of stuff slowly diminishing. Huzzah! Okay. What do you reckon, Dad? The floppy broad brim or the dress hat? Ah, oh, the dress hat, definitely. <laughs> These are my ambulance hats. This one very rarely gets worn, but still got to move with it. Dad, I feel like this trailer is so well packed that we don't even really need to tie it down because nothing can move. It's a work of art. This has all been about keeping a promise to myself and I am so, so ready. We have a seven hour drive to go and tomorrow we get the keys to my dream property. Oh, come on, let's go. You ready for this off? Let's go. Bye guys. Do you want to say thank you to all the kind words everyone said about you? A lot of people said you're not fat or that you're pulling it off. All true. You're perfect the way you are, buddy. Thanks, everyone. Quick noisy rest stop break for some push-ups. I have to admit, I'm finding it a lot harder this year. Thank you so much for everyone that's joined the team and for everyone that's donated. We're about halfway through the challenge, well over a thousand push-ups down, halfway to our cause. We've raised over $5,000. I'd love to get it to 10,000. It's all going towards suicide prevention charities. So thank you again, guys.
<laughs> wow, it's so loud out there. Well, I am pleased to report as well that the van is driving great. The only scary moment was I ended up in Sydney traffic towing the trailer and um, yeah, I was a little bit worried considering how it had gone on the drive up, but it was for a very good reason because I got to finally meet Nick and he had some advice for one of the build projects I'm looking forward to most on the property. So excited about this. Everybody, this is Nick. G'day. Nick, I'll oh, say hello G'day. again. G'day. how you doing? Nick actually has his own YouTube channel. It's Padula Studios. Isn't it is, it? yeah. This is where it all happens. Did you clean this workshop for me? I did not. I did <laughs> it's not. always it this clean. It doesn't always look like this, but today it does. Some of you might have guessed that I came here to get inspiration off Nick for his workshop, essentially. One of the biggest things I'm excited about building on the land is my own workshop. I love working with tools, I love woodwork, and I really want to delve more into it. And Nick's been a big inspiration for that. What would you be your number one tip? What is the main thing you want to have in a workshop, I could say? Main thing to have in a workshop, depending on what you're doing, is just good quality tools, uh, yeah. usually the best thing to go for. That way you don't have to buy twice. What do you think is the minimum space for a workshop? Biggest you can possibly get. Big is better. <laughs> big is better. <laughs> In this case, bigger <laughs> is better. I'm trying to convince Nick to also make me a bit of custom furniture because if you haven't seen what Nick does on YouTube, you should check it out. The stuff is mind blowing and especially one of his videos, I don't even know what to name this thing. I'm gonna put a little link for it up there, but check it out, it's unreal. Thank you so much for having us, Nick. And yeah, I'm gonna take this on board. I might ring you with a few tips Anytime. as we go. Cheers, and it's good to make the connection. Yeah, great to meet you. We are so close. And this weather is lovely. Well, it has been a big day. It has been a big driving day. And to be honest, a pretty emotional day for me. I didn't really see that coming so much, but this truly does mark the end of one chapter and the beginning of a new one. We could not have timed that better. It's kind of only just sunk in as I drove in here. This is my last night of full-time van life after six years. This is my 2000th night in the van. After my last video, a few of you expressed sadness that van life is ending. And I just wanted to address that in saying that it has been such an integral part of my adulthood. As a lot of you know, before going into full-time van life, I was a full-time paramedic. During that time, I never knew I had a creative bone in my body, to be honest. And it kind of ended up fostering this growth and creativity in me that I never knew existed. Van life, for me, is always gonna be a part of my life. And finally, before I go to bed, I just wanted to say that this channel is almost at 200,000 subscribers and that is a fact that blows my mind every single day. The fact that so many of you turn up video after video to support me, to see me through some of the highest points in my life and also kind of support me through some of the lowest. I cannot explain how much that has meant to me and you're a beautiful community and I want to say a thank you to each and every one of you. Night guys.
speaking. Hey Adam, it's Max Bitstrup here. How are you? I think he said 12 is what he was expecting. Okay, and so yeah. Thanks, Max. See you, mate. Bye. Bye. So it turns out I can't actually get the keys to the property until midday today. I'm starting to realise I really don't know a lot about the settlement process and moving into this new house. However, Oki is taking this opportunity to have a quick nap smart boy and I am also going to take this opportunity to say a quick thank you to today's video sponsor AG1. As a lot of you know I have now been drinking AG1 every day for over a year now and it truly makes me feel better. By just adding one scoop to 250 mils of water, I get 75 vitamins, minerals, whole food source ingredients, prebiotics, probiotics and adaptogens. Basically all kinds of things that I wasn't getting from my diet alone, even when I tried. With only one serving per day, it fills the nutritional gaps and provides the body with everything it needs to feel energized and fighting fit, ready to tackle that next big adventure, or in this case, the next big build project. I love AG1 so much, I've even got my friends and family on board and I truly believe that you can benefit from it too. Some of the benefits that you can start feeling right away are improved digestion, focus, recovery, and immunity support. Oki's leading the way with his new health kick, He's lost 500 grams, by the way. Go, Ock. And let's make today the day for you. Make AG1 your new healthy habit. Head over to athleticgreens.com forward slash Max and Ocky, and they're going to add a bonus five free travel packs and a year supply of the vitamin D dropper with your first purchase. It's almost time. We've been waiting so long. Surfboards count as tools, right? I can't believe how perfect this weather is. What a day for move-in day. You ready for this, buddy? You ready to move on to your forever homes? Just give us a moment here. Okay, thank you for that. Welcome to, I actually, I haven't named this place yet. We need to name it. This was the dream. This was something that I've been building and working towards for years and years and years. And um, it's kind of scary now it's here. Let's do a quick, very impromptu walkthrough. Here's first glimpse of the land. Makes sense to go into the little cabin first. Come on, Ock. Uh, Steve's left me some firewood. That's gonna be very nice tonight because it is cooling down at the moment overnight. Ock. Straight inside. Don't know if that was meant to be left. What do you think, buddy? And a shower. Ooh, and she's hot. Huh, feeling very empty. So we've got the living room. The kitchen. If you watch my offer accepted video where I showed when I put the offer on this place and got it, you'll have seen the drone footage and kind of real estate shots of this place. <laughs> Aki approves. What do you think of your new home? Yeah. Out here, I think this is gonna be actually one of my favorite places. How is this for a home office? And there is the veggie garden. 
Some of you did mention that you thought my comments about this cabin itself saying that it was pretty basic and rustic was a bit harsh. And I have to say that this cabin, it looks a little bit better at brief glance. The land from the drone looked amazing and is amazing. This house, however, when you look at it a bit closer, has some issues with it. And um, yeah, they're ones that I'm going to show you probably in the next video because in the next video, I am planning on taking you on a whole tour of this property before I do anything and kind of letting you know my ideas for the space because I need a few days here to kind of get settled in, get my bearings, and then I want to have that as a bit of a benchmark so we can all look back on it, you know, in years to come and see how much has changed. I'm really excited for that, but this one is just about getting settled in and moving in. I have a friend, Zach, coming. He's gonna be here probably in like 20 minutes. So he's gonna help me start moving in and then um, he'll leave and this is all for me and Ock. <laughs> it feels like a huge space at the moment. I cannot get over the green and the views are just incredible. Every way you look. Muscle has arrived. Hey mate, welcome. You. Dude, it's so nice. <laughs> that drive up. It's a bit of a bumpy road though, isn't it? Oh my, it gave my construction to the van a good test. Come on, let me show you around. So I've just asked Zach if he knows what Morton Bay figs are. He doesn't. <laughs> so one of the amazing things about this property is it actually has five Morton Bay figs. If you look at that huge tree down there with those big roots, that's one of them. And that in itself is like a pretty big one. However, check this bad boy out. Yep, there's a path through there if you follow it through. This feels like a massive fish up. Yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> Wouldn't have advised shorts, but that's okay. You've, you've gone with them. No, so <laughs> have a look at this. Good. It's been estimated at 500 years old, this Morton Bay fig. How tall are you? I'm six foot two, three. Six foot, yeah, exactly. And look, these roots, Massive. What do you think, Ock? And for anyone wondering at home, yes, Ocky's tick treatment is well up to date. All right, first item off. It's actually not that heavy. This may actually be the only chair I have for the house at the moment. <laughs> for the gym. That is heavy. <laughs> Lean into the turn. Way better. <laughs> <laughs> I have a desk. Look at Oki. <laughs> Oki is a classic. Every time you move something, and there's someone walking backwards, he wants to be under your feet without fail. So um, he's having a bit of time out, but he's not enjoying that fact. Yeah, you got it. You got this. Yes. Oh. <laughs> this was actually my great grandpa's desk. Oh, really? Yeah. Can't move to Byron Shire without a yoga mat. Thanks, Mum. So we're down to just the heaviest item left on the on the trailer. That's it, keep going. Keep it going. Woo. On pace. <laughs> hey buddy. You <laughs> easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The light is starting to come down. This is actually gonna be my first ever sunset. Just around the corner though. Zach actually hasn't seen this feature either. Oh, a toilet with a view. <laughs> <laughs> God, look at that view. Look at the sunset hitting it now. What do you think, Ock? Your new home, buddy. Hockey is loving exploring. 
Zach's only got a little bit of time left, so we're just going to get the two-person lift things in here. Let's... Oh. How nice is that? That is cabin vibes so much. Just wait till I put up some little fairy lights, you know, give it a little bit of glam. Water vibe. <laughs> I'm a house man. Oh, look, really? I'm a house. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> Nothing in there, yeah, but yeah. I've got a house. <laughs> Don't even know what to do with myself. <laughs> Thank you for being the oh, first yeah. guest out at the cabin. Hey, easy. It's so stunning. And you're so gonna happy. Have to, you're gonna have to come back when we can just enjoy it a bit oh, more. Oh yeah. I'm ready for a beer. Yeah. yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> Alright, All right. get going and yeah, uh, I'll keep moving it in. Yeah, Thanks bye. mate. See you bro. Can you hear that? Just nature. <laughs> Absolutely nothing else. Honestly, I'm still in such disbelief that this is my new reality and you know, I feel like this is something that I'm gonna look back on in years to come and be like, wow, man, you didn't know how far you have to go because this is gonna be a big journey. This is five acres in size and my plan is to make it as self-sufficient as possible, fully off grid and also try and grow my own veggies and really just become one with this area. This property is gonna take a lot of work to bring it up to what I'm picturing it to be. I've got almost no furniture, no household items. Pretty much everything I own is tools and surfboards at this point. So I have a lot to do to start making this place feel like a home. I'll see you in the next one for the tour. In the meantime, be kind to yourself, be kind to one another, and keep dreaming big. Oh, look. This is my couch. This is my TV.